Africa's economic maritime administrators have resolved that hinterland connectivity is a multiple stakeholders project that requires joint collaboration. A communicate to this effect was issued and signed at the end of the three-day African Regional Conference and International Association of Ports and Harbors in Abuja. TBC's maritime correspondent Ifunanya Eze reports. It took three days of extensive brainstorming sessions and deliberations among participants at the first African Regional Conference of International Association for Ports and Harbors to work out a Pan-African agenda to drive development of the continent's maritime sector. Resolutions reached recognize the need to facilitate port infrastructure development, among other issues regarding multimodal transport mode and the sustainability of the continent's maritime agenda. Infrastructure in the ports along the corridor and the destination must be adequate and attractive enough to be able to generate the needed cargo volumes and also facilitate its movement. We know what the challenges are, governance, infrastructure investments, trade facilitation, modal policies like railways, inland waterways, short sea shipping, and of course the particular situation of the, the landlocked countries and the transit flows. The maritime industry, much more than any other industry, symbolizes the interconnectedness and interdependence of humanity. And I am hopeful that African leaders will build on the progress that has been made from the Conference for Greater Efficiency of our ports and economics ultimately. I am confident that the past three days have produced results that we ultimately enable governments on the continent formulate policies capable of seeing us maximize the potentials of our maritime sector. The managing director of the Nigerian Post Authority, Hadiza Bala Usman, who also doubles as a vice president of the International Association for Ports and Harbors, stated that the agreement underscores the importance of building capacity for regional port operations and trade facilitation. We need to develop trade corridors across um, our respective countries. We've also noted the need for us to define clear policies and those policies have been recommended to our respective governments on what to do to develop hinterland collections. Some of them are attributable to um, inland container depots, developments of dry ports, ensuring that you have the infrastructure needed, enhanced expansion of rail connections, utilization of our inland waterways. So these are the um, clear resolutions of taking and each delegate is going back to their own countries to define that um, for them to implement. It was also agreed that regional trade should be ICT driven through a single window platform to enhance street processes. So, very Ifunanya, Eze, TVC News, Abuja.